رمضان يا رمضان يا نفحة الرحمن رمضان يا رمضان شهر جود وغفران رمضان يا رمضان يا نفحة الرحمن رمضان يا رمضان شهر جود وغفران كل عام يأتي زائر ليته دوما يطول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته You're welcome to another exciting episode of Pathway to Jannah My name is Sadia Bussari Afegwa Yo, the month of mercy, it's winding down gradually Alhamdulillah, we started just like yesterday and here we are I hope that you have been learning from the little we have contributed in our own way you learn and put them into practice. That's what we always say. We, we like all the feedback we have been getting. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep supporting. I'd like to appreciate our partners at this point. Luto's Bank, Jai's Bank, Labule Kitchen, Ansarudin, Right Food, The Eggs from Asaju Farms, Bint Ibrahim, the shades of Ramadan that she brought for us, Pomara Foundation, and lots of others. We appreciate all of you. We are last word of what I reward you abundantly. We will be taking you to the Quran recitation segment as always. We will never forget Ramadan message. It's very important. I'll see you again, inshallah. Stay with us. Ramadan. وله ما سكن في الليل والنهار وهو السميع العليم قل أغير الله أتخذ وليا فاطر السماوات والأرض وهو يطعم ولا يطعم قل إني أمرت أن أكون أول من أسلم ولا تكونن من المشركين قل إني أخاف إن عصيت ربي بعذاب يوم عظيم من يصرف عنه يومئذ فقد رحمه وذلك الفوز المبين وإن يمسسك الله بضل فلا كاشف له إلا هو وإن يمسسك بخير فهو على كل شيء قدير Ames Media Company Limited offers media services for developmental journalism public relations marketing, event coordination, Pan-Nigeria, and training. Top-notch media content comprising documentaries, talk shows, magazine and children's shows, each and all promoting family values for sustainable development. Our partners, collaborators, and patrons span individuals, groups, corporate bodies, government, NGOs, UN bodies, and more. Be reassured that our studio facility will meet your yearnings of digital solutions to your broadcast content. We are peopled by board members with unblemished track records and major players in the corporate world. Hello, it's Child Crest. Our panache, fashion, and professionalism 
make her the lead driver of our goal focused team. Entrust your brands to Ames Media Company Limited to add value to your corporate existence while meeting your target audience. www.amesmedia.com.ng Info at amesmedia.com.ng Like us on our Facebook page, Ames Media Company Limited. Ames Media. Donate today to the rebuilding of Old Kent Road Mosque in London and earn the pleasure of Allah. All You Who Believe is a live half-hour magazine program on NTA2 Lagos. The hybrid program has interaction between the Nigerian and United Kingdom audience. Our other participants who are actually joining this program from the internet session, so please uh, be part of us and uh, let us enjoy this program together, inshallah. We are really blessed to be connecting with you in this blessed month of Ramadan from the, from the UK. Watch All You Who Believe Mondays to Fridays all through the Ramadan season at 5.30 p.m. You can watch on DSTV channel 369, GoTV 114, Star Times 104, Airtel TV and online via www.nta2.tv. You can also participate real-time via plus 234-803-554-9317. Sow a seed by donating to the rebuilding of the Old Kent Road Mosque and be assured of Allah's Rahmah. Ramadan Mubarak. This segment of Hajj Enlightenment is brought to you courtesy of National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, efficiently and effectively serving the Muslim pilgrims of Nigeria. Hajj is one of the pillars of Islam and um, every Muslim to ban new will at law. So and um, experience many Hajj is basically a call that you must answer when you have the means. To bad that in new way, make sure you pay official experience me simple because my drive was I did an election and I just won an election which I fought for for like two three years so after winning that I felt okay it's, you know it's best for me to go and thank Allah and I need to go to Hajj and the money came so the experience is something about the so it's something that even now when you talk about him, all man she, all man she, every now when you, to man feel lost his heart, nick bo bo ba, because on him monkey to buy fish, lost his heart, yeah, to buy fish, drink, or come out of his bank, all that long, all that man she ain't see. So, in continue more, in continue, in continue more, ten more, ni heart, oh work for me, oh the shelle. So. Kini ye no is a continuous prayer. Is a continuous prayer. Thank God, Allah, thank God. Konsi Adura ngpe a mu fera moto a mu fera le a mu fera shikini kon Adura ngkoti mu ba Adura ngpe kolo onshi opolo kwe fumi ude jengo to continue so ki mu fera encourage everybody ngpe to bati ni owo to bati no wey nong ba Adura kolo on fe logo to fe fe lose hard to ba lose hard ngko to ba fe be olo on fun olo on mangba big ba Adura kponi noy. This segment of Hajj Enlightenment is brought to you courtesy of National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, efficiently and effectively serving the Muslim pilgrims of Nigeria. Hajj Uje, one of the uh, pillars of Islam. We all Muslims strive to pay Muslims name. I'm very complex with you. I want to know why I'm involved. We are currently opportunity here. We pay town bashi service to the we will make Hajj easier for I want to it's itself an act of ibadah. To the people who are from the ladder, in fact, be be jihad. And to pass it low agri, I repay. Ojen, to the people, it comes with a lot of uh, stress from our Muslims. But he say, he say generally, I want to know what is Asia, another part of the world. I want to know in charge. One big organization, who are seamless and very easy. To the people. I want to love his wife, I don't know how, but one the opportunity that he perform the rights of uh, age. So I want to be involved. We can only, we can only pay all of the opportunity. 
lati le chise at the same time lati to get the reward lati odo along so one important concept e lu fear of god come out with profit alone once even profit ni become we pay i want need responsibility lati mi chope i want to one large this segment of Hajj Enlightenment is brought to you courtesy of National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, efficiently and effectively serving the Muslim pilgrims of Nigeria. National Commission Nigeria. Koda, I want to get private in one law, Haji Commission God or she to phone. Bubu to Timo Ba she ti awan awan la laji ba don ti won she da da ile gbigba ni won ti se to esile. Moto ti won ma gbe lo si to ma fi se si alaka kiri ni won ti se to esile. Won atun ma wa ye gbugbu awon ile kokan awon lo ye awon omo Nigeria wo ni bi ti won wa. Se da da ni awon to ku on si Haji se da da ni won wa. Bubu ti se ton ma se lele. Ni ton ba ri pe ko o ku die ka to awon lo ma sare koko bere si ni wa eh solution tabi on abayo si gbogbo nkan to ba ko wa loju ta ba wa lohun awon aji commission awon na lo ma ri pe gbogbo omo nigeria to a lo gbogbo anu la ton wa pada sile ti a ba e ti pada sile okan o si le bale lo fi je pe ise ti won se ise ti o po pupo ni ti o lagbara ni kolon ko ma ba ran won lowo this segment of Hajj Enlightenment was brought to you courtesy of National Hajj Commission of Nigeria, efficiently and effectively serving the Muslim pilgrims of Nigeria. In any environment you find yourself, it is always good to find those whom you share same religious beliefs with. Then came the Island Muslim Coalition, a community for Muslims living on the island and its environs. Coalition of Muslim in Lagos Island in general, so it covers Lekki, Ikoyi, Victoria Island, all of us coming together. There cannot be any greater time for this kind of uh, gathering than now, for the kind of uh, situation that we have in our environment now. One of the objectives of this coalition is to take care of everybody in the Lekki, Ikoyi, Victoria Island, Island, up to Ekpe, Axis. The Island Muslim Coalition and Get Together was an event held to brainstorm and sensitize stakeholders on the project at hand. It was also an opportunity for those in business to network. What are the expectations from the event? We want this program to be an avenue through which the members and our guests would be informed about the uh, Island Muslim Coalition. This event is to, is to bring awareness to people, to let them know what we have been doing. It's like an introductory into what has been cooked in the background. With that opening zikr, Mr. Ibrahim Adam graced the podium to read from the Holy Quran. <laughs> The welcome address was said by the president, Lekki Muslim Umar. He gave some salient points. I welcome you all to this historic occasion of our first former get together of the island Muslim coalition. May the Almighty Allah assist us in nurturing this baby union to a huge and successful body. The secret of our success will lie in cooperation and not in competition among ourselves. This has to do with some of the projects we are envisaging. If we cooperate very well, there will be a lot of success. But competition will cause a lot of distraction. Alhaji Rafiu ABC, Chairman BOT of IMC, also enlightened and admonished the audience and urged everyone to put their soul into achieving the project on ground. He concluded that it is a privilege to be a Muslim, not a right. This is a call to service. It's simple. How much of our time, of our resources, and our intellect we want to give to Allah? It's simple. There's work to be done. 
And we all know the common challenge is finance. If it is to find brains, I'm sure in this place we have the brains. We have the intellect. The challenge is always the same, the funding. It is a privilege, not a right, to be a Muslim. And that chooses who he wants to be a Muslim. Asia lecture about collaboration and unity was delivered by Dr. Akim Mustafa. He asked why collaboration and unity. The Prophet wasallam says, A faithful believer to a faithful believer is like the bricks of a wall enforcing each other. Why saying that the Prophet wasallam clasped his hands by interlacing his fingers? Why we must financially support this cause? It is what we give that we are going to meet in the hereafter as our rewards and our rewards are proportional to our efforts. MDs and EDs were called to talk about how their firms can play an important role to the development of the upcoming project. Giants, I mean, having been in existence for 10 years and some months now, we have this pool that we channel through Jai's Foundation. For the orphanage project, as an example, it's something that can be considered you know, as one of the sources of uh, uh, funding that kind of laudable uh, project. This for us is a call to duty. So as Lotus Bank, we are here today, um, just beyond banking, but as a call to duty to support this, coali this coalition. In our personal capacities as uh, individuals, we are willing to, and we are committed to supporting this coalition in every way possible, financial and otherwise. We need consistent flow of cash. Consistent flow. I'm going to be suggesting what we'll call something very similar to what we'll call a perpetual sukuk. A perpetual sukuk is a sukuk that allows you to put mudaraba and mudaraba and mudaraba and musharaka cash into it. It's almost like you're putting equity in a portfolio. I also want to advise that uh, I also don't think that we need to reinvent the wheel in some other areas. Um, I've heard about uh, orphanages that have been discussed here. Um, I'm aware of an Islamic orphanage that's just commenced, just commenced in operation. They need a lot of support. They have an, a good expanse of land in Equip that they will want to develop. Uh, if this coalition can support such orphanages, we can get them uh, started on the right foot and we can uh, face other things and uh, not duplicate the effort. If you are asked about IMC, apart from it being a community for Muslims living on the island, what else can you say? Alhaji Idris Tai will shed more insight on what IMC is all about in his PP presentation. We've set out on a vision and uh, we want to be the center for island Muslims in promoting common good through cooperation and consolidation. Um, so our mission will be to promote unity and welfare of Muslim communities on the, on the island. A few members of the IMC came up to speak about how they can achieve their goal better, give you more insight to the conversation. When this coalition started, one of the critical things that we are talking about and thinking about is this issue of symmetry. We are not going to say we are going to have just one symmetry. We can have as many as possible. We should endeavor to learn from the mistakes that others have made. Let us build this coalition as indeed a coalition, a collaboration from down up. Let's support this project and no matter the little we have, it makes a difference. What we need to do is to please collaborate with government. Now that we have the force, let us go to the Ministry of Land. Let us go and discuss what and what we need there. For symmetry, we must put in our best and make sure that we have something befitting for us along that axis. We need to be thinking outside the box. And we need a small committee that will apply to government. This is a government matter. We can't buy land and we get good land somewhere, I think we need a very, very good Muslim school in this access. 
we shouldn't uh, say 5,000, 10,000 is a little money. By the time we get about 10 people, that brings out 5,000, 5, that makes it 50. Money is not easy to come by nowadays. If we collaborate this way and we pull our resources, uh, which is not necessarily only financial, um, we will make a lot of progress. Lunch was served, and while everyone dined, Alhaji Adeni Akin Lucy said the vote of thanks. We thank everybody, all our fathers, all our mothers, all the Muslim communities here present for this occasion, for being here, for those who have worked and toiled for this program to take place. Alhamdulillah for the successful outing. In sharing their thoughts and takeaway from the program, our interaction with guests and organizers captured the essence of the program. This is what I've been expecting for a long time. Alhamdulillah it has come to pass. It takes a lot of commitment and desire to do that. Uh, like a lot of the messages we have had today, there's nothing that will take away when we all leave this earth. A lot of things that you come across are on Islamic. How do we ensure that uh, you know, Islam continues to get foothold in the society? It's by doing those things which Almighty Allah enjoys us in the Quran and Adid that we should do. I pray that other Muslims in mainland or wherever, they should form this kind of a thing so that we have a, a more conscious Muslim Huba. The aim of the coalition, I mean the mission, is to foster unity and the welfare of Muslims on Lagos Island and the peninsula area all the way to Wedileki. You know, so we believe unity is strength, you know, and uh, the more we come together, the lot we can achieve. The event was a real eye-opener. We pray and hope they achieve their goals soon. Whispering of a Broadcast Jewel is indeed a jewel of a book and I recommend that you get multiple copies and share, distribute to people because everybody who reads the book, I can promise you, you will enjoy the book and you will take some nuggets from the book. The book by Hajia Amina Mohammed is a, is a book that is going to tell you tales of the NTAs and unexpected. I would like you to go and look for that book, get a copy, and search yourself whether you agree with what she said there, whether you even understand that there are many people who make broadcasting what it is, who make television visuals what they are. The fluidity of the storytelling is what captured my interest. She's very humble. She puts the, the, the language so succinctly, but so simply at the same time. The book will be educative, the book will be insightful, and probably there will be a lot of learnings. Being the person she is, she's a down-to-earth person, and I'm sure by the time we take that book, we read that book, we're going to give more in terms of knowledge from that book. I implore everybody to read the book, to buy a copy and share with others. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the bouquet we have this time. Fully packed bouquet. <laughs> we, we always keep to our promise. You know that, right? Well, this is the quiz segment, but I'm not asking any question today. We have lots of winners. And our gifts are here. Their gifts are here waiting for them to come and claim them. We'll be seeing more again tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah.